Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from surface areas and volumes chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is of one mark, the second sub question is of two marks, and it has an or question as well. That is, either you can attempt the first one or the second one. And the third sub question is of one mark. So, let us start with the first question now. Governing Council of a Local Public Development Authority of Dehradun decided to build an adventurous playground on the top of a hill which will have an adequate space for parking. After survey, it was decided to build rectangular playground with a semicircular area allotted for parking at one end of the playground. The length and breadth of the rectangular playground are 14 units and 7 units respectively. There are two quadrants of radius 2 units on one side for special seats. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. The first question is, what is the total perimeter of the parking area? So let us try to understand the question first. So a governing authority of Dehradun decided to build a playground in the shape of a rectangle. So here we can see this diagram is given and the playground is in the shape of a rectangle. And they also decided to have a parking area on one side of the rectangle and the shape of the parking area is semicircle. Now the length and width of the rectangle is also given in the diagram as we can see 14 units and 7 units and there are two quadrants as we can see at the corners of this rectangle and these quadrants are assigned for special seats. Now here in the first question we are supposed to find out the total perimeter of the parking area. Now we know that the shape of the parking area is a semicircle and to find out the total perimeter we have to consider this diameter of the semicircle and its circumference. And from the diagram we can clearly see that the width of the rectangle becomes the diameter of semicircle. So here we are going to write. Now I have labeled the rectangle over here as ABCD and here the radius of the quadrants is also been marked as it was given in the question. Now here the perimeter of parking area is written as circumference of the semicircle BC plus the diameter BC. Now we have the formula for circumference of a semicircle as pi times the radius because circumference of a circle is 2 pi r and semicircle is half of a circle so it's going to be half of 2 pi r which is pi r plus the diameter BC and diameter is same as the width so we have written 7 over here. Now here the radius of the semicircle is since the diameter is 7 units the radius is going to be half of 7. So here we get radius as 7 over 2. Now substituting the values and taking the value of pi as 22 over 7, we get 22 over 7 times radius is 7 over 2 plus 7. Now here 7 divides 7 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 1 times is 7 and 2 divides 22 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. So we get the perimeter of parking area as 11 plus 7 and adding them together we get the total perimeter of the parking area as 18 units. This is our answer. Now let us move on to the second sub question. What is the total area of parking and the two quadrants? So in this question we have to add the area of the parking with the areas of two quadrants. Now here I have considered the radius of the semicircle as R1 that is 7 over 2 and radius of the quadrant is considered as R2. Now once we have written this let us write down the total area. So the total area is area of the semicircle plus area of two quadrants. Now we have written the formula for area of semicircle that is 1 over 2 times pi r square. Now since we have considered the radius as R1 for the semicircle we have written here R1 square plus since there are two quadrants we have written two times the area of the quadrant is, now quadrant is basically one fourth the area of the circle. So we have written one fourth times pi r square. And since we have taken the radius as r2, we have written here r2 square. Now let us substitute the respective values. So we get here 1 over 2 times pi is 22 over 7. r1 is 7 over 2 times 7 over 2. Plus now 2 and 1 over 4, I have simplified it. That is 2 divides 4. 2 1 times is 2 and 2 2 times is 4. So we get here 1 over 2 times pi is 22 over 7, r2 is 2. So r2 square becomes 2 times 2. 
Now let us simplify this further. 2 divides 22. So we get 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. And 7 divides itself that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 1 times is 7. Now here also simplifying it further. 2 divides 22 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. So here simplifying the answer we get 11 times 7 gives us 77 over 2 times 2 gives us 4 plus 11 times 2 times 2 gives us 44 over 7. Now let us take a common LCM. So here multiplying the first term by 7 that is 77 times 7 and 4 times 7 we get the denominator as 28. Similarly we are going to multiply the second term by 4 that is 44 times 4 over 7 times 4. So 7 times 4 again we get the denominator as 28. Now 77 times 7 gives us 539 over 28 plus 44 times 4 gives us 176 over 28. Now since the denominators have become same, we can add the numerators. So we get the answer as 715 over 28 square units or converting it into decimals, we get it as 25.54 square units. This is our total area. Now let us move on to the OR question. What is the ratio of area of playground to the area of parking area? So here we need to find out a ratio. So area of playground is to area of parking area. Now area of playground is the area of rectangle as we can see. And area of rectangle is length times width. And length of the rectangle is 14 units and width of the rectangle is 7 units. So we have written here area of rectangle is 14 times 7 which gives us 98 square units. So we have the area of playground as 98. Similarly, let us find out the area of parking area that is a semicircle. So here we have written parking area is area of semicircle and we have the formula for area of semicircle as 1 over 2 times pi r square. Now radius of the semicircle is 7 over 2. So substituting its value we get 1 over 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 over 2 times 7 over 2. Now simplifying this that is 2 divides 22, 2 1 times is 2, 2 11 times is 22, 7 divides itself giving us 7 1 times and 7 1 times. So we are left with the area of parking as 11 times 7 that is 77 and 2 times 2 gives us 4. So here parking area is 77 over 4 square units. Now since we need to find out the ratio let us write this ratio as a fraction. So here we have written area of playground is to area of parking area is equal to area of playground over area of parking area. Now area of playground we got it as 98 square units. So we have written here 98 over area of parking area is 77 over 4. Now we get 98 times. Now the division becomes multiplication and 77 over 4 flips upside down giving us 98 times 4 over 77. Now 7 divides 77 that is 7 11 times is 77 and 7 14 times gives us 98. So here we get 14 times 4 in the numerator divided by 11. 14 times 4 gives us 56. So we have got the fraction as 56 over 11. Now writing it back as a ratio we get area of playground is to area of parking area as 56 is to 11. This is our answer. Now moving on to the last sub question. Find the cost of fencing the playground and parking area at the rate of rupees 2 per unit. So here basically we need to find out the perimeter of the rectangle and the circumference of the semicircle for fencing. So total perimeter to be considered for fencing is perimeter of the rectangle so we are going to fence this rectangle the playground plus we are going to fence the circumference of parking area that is circumference of semicircle so here we have written total perimeter is perimeter of rectangle plus circumference of semicircle now writing the respective formulae we have perimeter of rectangle as 2 times length plus width plus circumference of semicircle formula is 1 over 2 times 2 pi r and we have the length and width of the rectangle. So we have written here 2 times length is 14 and width is 7. So 14 plus 7 
plus 1 over 2 times 2 pi r we have divided the 2's that is 2 divides itself 2 1 times is 2 and 2 1 times is 2. So we are left with pi r pi is 22 over 7 and radius of the semicircle we have a 7 over 2. Now here 7 and 7 divides itself that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 1 times is 7 and 2 divides 22 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 11 times is 22. So we have the total perimeter as 2 times 14 plus 7 gives us 21 plus 11 times 1 gives us 11. Simplifying this further we get 2 times 21 is 42 plus 11. So the total perimeter to be fenced is going to be 53 units. Now here we need to find out the cost that is for 1 unit the rate of fencing is going to be 2 rupees. Now here we have got 53 units so we have to find out what will be the cost. So here we are going to make use of cross multiplication method that is perimeter and cost. For 1 unit the cost of fencing is 2 rupees then for 53 units how much is the cost going to be. So we have to basically multiply 53 with 2. So here we have written total cost of fencing is going to be 2 times 53 giving us the total cost as 106 rupees. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.